We find ourselves in a pretty interesting situation here in Canada right now when it comes to discussions about COVID-19. A number of provincial medical officers of health, they're really trying to call for balance now. I think they see what's going on with all of these COVID busybodies who are just still kind of manically, hour by hour, obsessed with all things COVID and still believe absolutely everything everyone does everywhere should revolve around coronavirus. And they're looking at this and they're going, oh man, we really got people into a, a pretty unhealthy situation here. I mean, we're trying to point out the good news about the vaccination rates and you know this new path forward, but there's a lot of people who are still uh, really kind of clutching to the old ways and, and we got to help them. I mean, basically they're, they're trying to de-radicalize people because of course there's a lot of people who still have these perspectives and you see it playing out really in a number of different provinces immaterial of, uh, of the politics of the governing party and and of course the chief medical officer, different ones from different provinces. The main example is of course Dr. Dina Henshaw. I know people want to make allegations about there being politics going on there, although other folks point out, hey, don't forget Dina Henshaw was actually picked by former NDP Premier Rachel Notley uh, to be in that position. So it's not like she's someone that uh, Jason Kenney sort of brought his person in to do the job. Dina Henshaw being the one who's sort of most kind of aggressively uh, bringing her province towards the learning to live with COVID situation. They're going to be changing the rules so that if you test positive for COVID-19, you no longer are legally forced to stay in your home for 14 days. She still encourages people to follow these protocols, be very respectful, mindful of everyone and so forth, not spread the virus, but she's kind of stepping away from the very heavy handed stuff. Lots of similar things from Dr. Bonnie Henry and pleasant surprise, Ontario heading in that direction as well. Really interesting to see Dr. Kieran Moore, he's the new Chief Medical Officer of Health for Ontario, it was really sort of unclear where he would head. He has a guest op-ed that was posted online at the Toronto Star, I'm saying online specifically for a reason, posted online at the Toronto Star, uh, where he talks about how, yes, cases are going to rise in the fall, but this is not a cause for panic. And he points out a number of reasons why, about uh, that's going to have lower deaths and hospitalizations because so many people are vaccinated, uh, talking about managing things in a much better way. And he talks about how COVID-19, it's going to be with us for, for a very long time. I guess for the rest of our natural lives, most likely, we need to learn to live with it. That's him speaking, not me. That's a line from him. I couldn't help but notice, though, that uh, that piece, it appeared that the Toronto Star posted it on their Twitter account just once. Uh, other stories that they really want to amplify, they put it out, you know, several times. And it's not in the print edition. There's a number of columns on vaccine passports and so forth from non-experts, non-medical people, but they got this great submission from the chief medical officer of the province who, who clearly had a message to get out. And, and I guess it clearly felt like Toronto Star readers in particular needed to hear that message. And then for whatever reason, I, I don't know about the decisions that were going on in that newsroom, but they post it online, but they don't run it in the print edition the next day. Traditionally, when you would run something the day after, it's been posted online. So we have these chief medical officers who, whatever you think of what they did earlier, and I think they're largely responsible for pushing a lot of people into the, the, the very sort of uh, severe mindset they have right now about COVID, but they're acknowledging that we got to get people out of that mindset and we got to start going in a different direction. So, well, kudos to them for doing that, but uh, it looks like they're facing roadblocks, hurdles, and pushback from a whole lot of people. So hopefully they will make progress on all of this, but uh, well, hopefully their message can also get out.